it's like any job because it's like if you're working hard there's gonna be times where you're tired and how am I gonna get to this place and do this thing and you know I have to rush and there's no time is someone who wants to fight for the equality of a marginalized group that they're not a part of. This is not meant to be some definitive statement on how to be a race ally. It's just meant to continue the conversation of people who give a damn about other people on this planet. Big things happening in 2018, y'all. Listen, I'm shooting a video and I'm looking for a DP, if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you're a director of photography, um, inbox me. I have a project for you. Hey y'all, make sure y'all tune in to TRL on MTV. That's on MTV, right? On MTV, yeah. Uh, at, beginning at 4 o'clock. At 4 o'clock to see the cast of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 3 All-Stars. <laughs> huh. Hi, babe. <laughs> Bitch, so I'm in the fucking supermarket, and they had Oreo O's. Y'all remember that shit was discontinued, like, last week, and I got me a box, and I was like, oh, damn, it's back. Bitch, why they don't got no more today? I should fucking, I don't know. I'm upset. So I just got this package from American Richard, and I'm happy and ready to open her. What's Gonna bust it open. Let me stop it. Boys, boys, boys. American Richard really hooked the bitch up. 
got me together these little hot pink shorterinis. <laughs> my puss. Hey everybody, make sure to get your tickets for the premiere of my new cabaret show, Alexis I Am, Wednesday, January 24th at 54 Below. What? Bitch! Yeah! Come on, Alexis. Me honra que me haya comprado un traje así. Qué lindo, eres una buena hermana por usarlo. <risa> es como cuando tu hijo hace algo feo y tiene que gustarte o tienes que usarlo. En algún momento tendrás que usar un collar de macarrones. Sí, pero la verdad no lo usaría con un traje deportivo. Creo que es lindo, me siento cómoda. Yesterday, in a conversation oh. between Daniel, Andrew, Johnny, and Shane J oh. in the garden, the following was said. <laughs> You must be watching this on a phone, computer, or TV. It's gonna seem counterintuitive, but today on Courtney Fact, I want to talk about unplugging. Oh. Maestro is getting hot in here. Did you see that? So basically, it happens. I mean, because I'm so 
still be, remember? I'm from Rupo Capri, season 8 and 9, I changed names. And I changed cuckoos and cuckas, you know what I mean? So, my apology for the root convenience. like charity, so we can collect this money and this cream to help for the HIV prevention program here in Puerto Vallarta, okay? Very important, wonderful thing. Uh, so we're gonna pass it up, we have some cute boys. They just keep delaying my fly, girl. So I'm gonna eat my feelings. <laughs> Honey, I got my twin sister pushing the buggy. <laughs>
I just love my new Z Gallery piece, you guys. Ah! My LA home is coming together. And my dog. It's coming together. Who wants to come to my housewarming party? Gorgeous. Hi, Trevor. So my closet is almost coming together, you guys. It's a little messy, but here it is. Gorgeous. And in my lovely room, finally I'm home. He can't stop following me, huh? Well, I've made it to Chicago, and I'm freezing already. But how have I gone 19 days without a cigarette? Vape life. Is that weed? Look. Is that the weed? Thank God, light that shit now. Like the sun. Breathe. Run a show. Show me your technique. God put a rainbow in the class. Hold. In that. Go. One, two, three, four. So elbow, elbow, push and around and hold. Who has ever been kind to me with me? Black, white, Asian, Spanish speaking, Native American, gay, straight, everybody. I said, come with me. I'm going to breathe. Come One, with two. Me. I need you now. Hold. Dead. Somebody who may not look like you may not call God the same name you call God. If they call God at all, you see, and may not eat Hip. the same dishes prepared the way you do. May not dance your. Plie.
this is a nice little restaurant we get to eat at tonight. There's a little jungle up there. Super cute. <laughs> They spend good money on these lights. <laughs> Hi, I'm Miss Fame, and I'm a gender fluid model. Seeing Vanna White, that was my first glamour icon. I find my inspiration through people, the city I live in and the cities I travel to. It expands my consciousness around creativity, around self-expression. Chaya. Hey, it's Miss Fame. Follow my Instagram takeover on Pier Fifty Nine.
We're all here at Queen. And y'all should be here too because we're raffling off tickets for 1 800 Wig Takeout. Yeah! Message me for a password. <laughs> My name is Lulu McGriddles, and I got something to say. Motherfuckers, you turned the week takeout party. Yeah, yeah. Good fucking work, bitch. Send me home. Send me home. Ain't no dicks in my mouth, send me home. Bitch, did you turn the party? Uh huh? Did I? Motherfucker, you lit, bitch? Yeah. What's yeah. on your eyeshadow? Tell the kids, what, what, eye, what brush did you use? I couldn't. Sorry guys, Morgan hasn't made a video in a while. She's really excited to see you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. fucking tootly. Toots, toots, toots. <laughs> all around toots in these black boots. All the toots. Yeah. Hello, sweetie darlings. We're in New York. Milk. Hello, sweetie darlings. Kennedy yeah. darling. Hi, honey. Yes, darling. Hey guys, it's Morgan, Mariah, and Angina. We're starting our new UBN radio show. What about that? In 10 minutes. Come join us. The link is going to be posted. Come join us. God, you guys, I'm making a garment. Uh, yes, come through. <laughs> So, um, I came over to Detox's house because she's moving to Chicago. I don't know why it's fucking cold there. But, um, her mom's also moving in with her. Shut up! But, <laughs> but she gave me this! Ha! Huh? What a mess! <laughs> so, like, yes. I'm just gonna sell these all on eBay. Once worn by Detox, $500. <laughs> I'm splitting the funds with her because she just moved and needs renovation money. So, buy it. This is a shemergency. <laughs> this hair has so much cum in it. It needs steaming. 
Hey, wigs and grays, where you at? Fix me. Surprise, bitch. I'm the 10th queen. Ah! Got you. Mm-hmm. Look at me. That's why I'm wearing gold. Why would I wear gold if I wasn't the 10th queen? Think about that. Story of my life. Hi everybody. That's right. Hi. I'll see y'all in about an hour. That's right. My live feed is coming together. The dogs are barking. The dogs are barking. That's what people call their feet. All right, everybody. Tammy Brown lashes. Would you like to order some Tammy Brown lashes? Tonight I'm wearing some bottom lashes. They're just those individual ones that I put in. But hey, I can see the clouds and trouble. That's why right. if you would like to order some candy brown lashes, I please see send you. And check me out tonight. Tonight. That's right. Tonight. Lashes. I 8 p.m. Eastern. That's 9, for 9 p.m. New York. Tonight on the show, I will be wearing Sugar Hill. That's right. I'm wearing the Detox. Uh-huh. Hey, shout out to Detox. Hi. Moving to Chicago. Chicago. Now I'm taking some of this lovely girl crush, uh-huh, and putting it on like that. Oh, God, just a little here and a little there. Because I'll be coming to you live within 20 minutes live. Uh-huh. I'll look at my best. Hi, everybody. Thank you all for tuning in tonight to my live feed. I'll be coming to you every Wednesday. Usually it's going to be 8 p.m. And I'll tell you what's time that is. Tonight I believe was standard time 8 p.m. What I was trying to say is that we will be tuning in every Wednesday and the time will be decided but usually it's going to be Wednesday nights 8 p.m. Eastern. I believe we're on Eastern time and or yeah. But I have these eyelashes. If you'd like to order some eyelashes, I got them for sale. It's really awesome. Custom-made Tammy Brown eyelashes. Ooh, fierce. Ask Wendy Ho all about them. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Would you like to buy this facial wipe? This facial wipe, it's on sale from tonight's video. Tammy Brown Live Wednesdays. Facial wipe. Just home making lashes. Juge. Shout out to Jazz and Mazzy. Jazz and Mastis. So these are wispies. I use wispies when I'm making these lashes. 301s and 601s. That's right. So someone asked me the other day, they said, Tammy, will you please show us a demonstration on how to put on lashes and to wear lashes? So I'm going to do my best to show you how to take the lash off the tray properly. <laughs> So, you take the lash like this, right, from the tray, and you can take your thumb like this, and then you go like this, and pull them off this way. See? I learned this from LCD with her class, Hollywood Faces. Yeah, Cerritos, California. So, see how easy these come off the tray? Much easier, and it doesn't mess the bridge that the lash is laying on. Up. And then I'm going to take these wispies, and I'm going to put them over these and in Spanish, these are called pestañas, pestañas, pestañas bustizas. Yeah, there's your little Spanish lesson for the evening lesson. Pestañas bustizas. Well, the lashes are ready. Mm -hmm. Order your Tammy Brown lashes. 
Act fast before they sell out. Oh my God, how they sell out. Gross. Schmo. Gross. Very gross. What do you think? Gross? Hi, everybody. Tomorrow night, don't forget. No se olviden mañana, lunes, martes, miércoles, en vivo. That's right, Wednesday live with Tammy Brown tomorrow night, 8 p.m. My time. Oh my god, what is up, Vancouver? It's your girl, Shay Coule. We just touched down, and I will see you guys tonight at the Commodore Ballroom. Be there or be fucking lame. Um, so much of my drag is just an expression of who I am as a creative individual. I went on so many different other journeys and outlets, you know, fine art, theater, costume design, which all, you know, in turn help. We there, you did sweet, and you named off, um, RuPaul, mm -hmm. Cupcake Rocker, mm -hmm. Adore Delano, mm -hmm. a couple of times, like, I want to look at She yeah. responded? No. What? What's up? What's up, some Twitter. Which you <laughs> need to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you take <laughs> them <laughs> with your thumbs, okay? Yeah. Visualize this, people. Uh, with your thumbs, right? And then you, like, Get away from me. Well. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
light there. Honey, I am the light. Honey. Honestly, it's so beautiful. If only it zipped, sweaty. <laughs> if only it zipped. Sweaty. Sweaty, sweetie. <laughs> Okay, action. Oh my gosh, I just checked my foot butt and um, it said I did 20,300 steps today. Oh God, and like burn like 3,000 calories. Like, that's not true. Uh, no way. And even though I know I did a lot of steps, I was running around that theatre like it was Boxing Day and Grace Brothers was about to open. But um, I did have my foot butt on my rust, which means that, um, that when I'm brushing hair, it thinks I'm walking. So even though I can't count all those steps, I still, you know, it was 13,000 steps over my goal. So I think I can count a few of them. So um, I'm guessing that tomorrow I'm going to wake up really skinny or with really sore feet. Well, I think it's happened. I left work tonight so exhausted I thought I would fall asleep in the cab. But I think now I've missed my window. I'm not tired at all now. And that's very concerning because um, because I only got four hours last night and I'll probably get the same tonight. And they say that every hour of sleep that you miss is like, like I don't know, something that you don't live, like you die early or something like that. But, you know, I, I don't know.
And Jesus Christ, I can't afford to lose any more hours off my life because after the way I've treated my body, you know, I drink too much, I smoke too much, I eat badly, I don't exercise properly, you know, and then combine that with not sleeping, you know, I'll be lucky if I don't wake up bed tomorrow. What the fuck was that? That was supposed to be one of those Zoom moments because, you know, I just realised that I could wake up dead tomorrow and I wanted to add some drama to the story, but what the fuck? That was not, that was just, that was not what I was thinking at all. I mean, I still put it in, because, you know, oh, should use that one. That would be much more appropriate. You know, that's what I feel like. You know, sun's gleaming in my eyes. Doesn't feel like it's night time at all. I mean, I'm so awake that I could probably get up and run a marathon. I mean, I wouldn't, because I'd probably die. But anyway, thanks. Oh, what? Yeah, I've just been doing this for the last five minutes, because it's supposed to change. Is it cha Oh, they are. Fuck. Fine. Oh. Oh. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's I've been going back and forward. My neck's crooked now, but I, oh. You fucking. <laughs> cunt. <laughs> Slut. Bitch. Poop on my shit. Cunt. Bitch. Dog. <laughs> Dog's a bad word. <laughs> Ooh. That one's nice. Oh, I like that one. Anyway, I thoroughly amused myself. I'm not sure about you. Um, so I really should try and get some sleep. I might have to just, just like put something really boring on. Like the new Star Trek. Yuck. Okay, good night. Sweet dreams. Bye. Oh, oh now I'm awake. Jesus. Oh. Mm. Okay, well, I'm officially oh, trying to put myself to sleep oh, by watching... Adventure Time, which I thoroughly enjoy, but it always puts me to sleep. So good night. See you in the morning. Oh gosh. Okay. Time to get up again. Well, I just checked my foot bot, and it said that I had three hours and fifty fucking seven minutes sleep. So I might have to call a nurse today and get a. IV drip just hooked up straight to the coffee machine. Straight in. Because I'm gonna fucking need it. Look what's happening here. Look at all that's all, all steel cables. That could make a lovely wig for a troll. A big giant troll who's made of metal and has an industrial theme and lives in a concrete pit. Oh look, you can see the sun beaming through the trees. You know what that means? That means Jesus is talking to us. Can you hear him say, I hate faggots. Well, that was another long day on little sleep. But it was good. I achieved a lot. Did 22,000 steps. I've got one more day of it. Tomorrow we'll finish Act 2. And then Saturday, it all starts. Which would be good to get it all done. All on. But tomorrow I'm going to have a sleep in. Well, I'm going to certainly try. I've been getting to work about 8.30, but um, tomorrow I've got an osteo appointment at 9.15, so I get a little bit of a late start, which is lovely. I'll get my neck sorted out, it's so sore. Oh, and I had the most lovely thing happen to me today. Like, I just, such a lovely gesture of kindness. And um, lovely boys Nikolai and James, who came to my rescue and heard my cries and um and and gave me a face full of botox and isn't that just the sweetest thing that anyone could do for one just just lovely much appreciated thank you boys so yes so on that note i'm gonna go to bed and i'm gonna sleep hopefully and um and get up tomorrow and do it all again. Good night. Hey guys, so I got six hours and 40 minutes sleep. Can you believe that? Oh my God, I'm like, uh, like I'm actually more tired now than I was yesterday when I wake up after four hours sleep. But um, well actually three hours and 40 minutes sleep. Um, but obviously I just got so exhausted that I just, just passed out and stayed passed out, which is great. Excuse me. So I'm, um, so I'm looking forward to not being a wreck. But I've been starting work about eight thirty and finishing at eleven thirty, and um, 
and I'm fine today. I have really productive days, but then about eight o'clock, I just absolutely crash, and I just can't do anything at all. So I'm hoping that today we don't have that, and I'm more productive for the whole time. You know what? I am more tired today after having six and a half hours sleep, but I have been a whole week living on four hours a night. But I guess just like the tax department, sleep always catches up on you. In the words of a very wise old drag queen, not today, Satan. Not today. So some of you have been asking for um, a photo of one of our cast members in their mask. So you can see what it looks like. Well, the next photo is a lovely Tom from our ensemble. Um, and you'll get to see the mask in action. would never know it's not real makeup. Pretty fabulous, eh? You know, I've done so many wigs in the last couple of weeks that I have a bruise on my thumb from pushing pins into rollers. It really hurts. But, you know, that's what you do when you're a professional. You suffer for your craft. It's whatever it takes. So just keep you updated and informed of my progress on Priscilla. So everything's on stage, everything is done. I've seen the show twice, everything is beautiful. I've done my job impeccably. So now, just when you think the work's over, no. So this week I'm doing now is for David Spencer and he is um, the first cover Bernadette. Um, now Bernadette's usually played by, well he's played by, by Tony Sheldon and Tony and David are very different looks. So I need to do a week that is still Bernadette but specifically for David which would um, be really easy, but instead, because I'm good at my job, I'm gonna make sure that each wig looks beautiful on them and it looks, you know, shows them in the best way possible, which is a little bit of extra work, but it's gonna be worth it in the end, in the long run. Mm. So now I have to um, start doing all the covers and swing wigs. And the covers and swings are those who fill in for the cast if the cast is off. So um, everyone needs their own wig in that character. Now I could just pull out of a bag, you know, a wig that is the same color and the same style, just based on me what she's cooking. Which figure went on? Which figure went on? Yeah. Which figure went on? Melbourne's fun. <laughs>